This is Sally from the Perfect Print Co. Uh, today I just want to run through how to make your own logo for free on Silhouette Studio. I do have the business edition but you can do this on any edition of Silhouette Studio, the, even the free version. Um, there's my logo and I did it um, exactly like this so I'll just uh, show you how. So left click your um, text on the left hand side left click on the screen by the way if you don't have a white background the way to do with that is go to your page setup and take down the reveal till it's all the way to the left so I'm going to do my the and I'm doing my words separately so then I can manipulate them separately in a moment so there are the words with a dot so there are the basic words of my business now the 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 and the co are in the same font so we're going to left click drag over both of them come over to the text box on the right hand side which is called the text style panel left click there and then this is called copper plate now all your fonts from your computer will naturally um, pop up here so if you know the the, um, the name of your font you can find it uh, alphabetically or you can type it in here and it will find it for you so we've got our the and our co these two are in a beautiful font called Tuesday Vibes so again I'm just going to type it in there it's found it for me so I've just pressed enter and it changes it to what I want it to be now the, the way we colour these in, these two are black, so we do the same, left click and drag and go to your line style. So we need the line changing to black and then we need the fill changing to black. And then these two are pink, now it's not any of these pinks. so. What I did, if you go to the advanced options, which is just this little click down here, and manually find your perfect pink, which is something like that. I can't exactly remember which pink it is, and it might look better when it's got a pink um Oh dear, pink uh, line around it as well. That's totally making it worse. So I'm kind of getting there somewhere, like around there. So for the purposes of this example, that will do. Now this print looks like I stretched it a little bit there so you can manipulate your words you can do it that way or you can squidge them right in or make them taller very very easy versatile software the co needs turning around so there we go and making a little bit smaller now I can't quite remember but it looks to me as though I've um, made that one bold so let's see if we can click on that and go back to the text panel and yes copper plate has a bold so there we go that's, uh, that's that it's perhaps a little bit smaller and then the the needs turning as well 
um, is in bold too, which gives it a nice contrast actually to the, the perfect print words. And just make those. Now, obviously, it's not going to be an exact science. Um, so that really is an easy, easy way of doing your own logo for free. All you need is a little bit of imagination, some amazing fonts, and away you go. So what you can do then is left click, drag over the whole thing, right click, and then you get this wealth of options. I'm going to group. So that is going to now act as um, one entity. The reason I've done it on a white background is because then what I'm going to do is command, shift and four will and then left click and drag and that saves that onto your desktop as a screenshot. So then if we shrink silhouette and I have the subscription for pickmonkey.com which um, is not too expensive but I really do get my money's worth out of this for editing photos and you go to open new from your computer scroll down on your desktop and it's always the last screenshot on there and if you resize so say you want you need it a thousand um, and if you take the proportions off you can get it square to a thousand apply and then you export that export it to your computer and it will if you're on a Mac it will pop into your downloads and then pop up again and you can save it into as, as whatever you want just rename it I'm not going to save mine because I've already got my original and then save it into where you want to save it so I hope that helps um, any questions just ask down below and if you subscribe we are adding more how to silhouette videos um, on a weekly basis so I'll catch you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.